there are often disquieting features which crop up in our economy which usually scare not only the people of this country but also the government of late prices have been raging and this has led to all kinds of scares sir we must keep in control all prices there can be no denying this fact but you will remember that when the plan was introduced the plan itself and the finance minister at that time envisaged that during the 8th plan period there would be an inflation of the order of 25 to 40% and that this rise in prices was inevitable statisticians have said that in the political conditions existing in our country and the economy that we have adopted for ourselves plan development without rise in prices is not possible but during the course of these 5 years the rise in prices will not be even there will be points when the prices will go up very much but what we should aim at is that on an average prices are kept steady therefore what is needed is that both investment and inflation should be faced para having said that i would like to warn the finance minister that the most important prices that must be kept under check are those of food and clothing my honorable friend has also stated this and he has said further that rent and fuel prices also should be kept under proper control what i say is that if the finance minister succeeds in keeping down the prices of food and clothing our economy will not be injured even if there is a slight rise in other sectors in this connection i very much welcome the agreements that have been entered into by us with various countries for the import of food and it is very important that we must build up our food reserves and the mistakes of the past should not be repeated in this direction i am very happy to note from the statement of the finance minister that the prospects of our food crop are bright but that should not lead us to any complacency we should not build up our food stocks by imports only this is a time when prospects of our own crop are good and we should embark upon a program of internal procurement so that we may augment our food services para another important point that i would like to emphasize here is in regard to cloth supply there was a good deal of tall talk about meeting our requirements of cloth through the agency of handloom industry i would have very much liked that the government had given its full attention to see that this program was implemented but what i find is that production by the handloom industry has not made any impress on the economy i am very sorry to note that the organizational side of this important sector has not been developed as it was hoped in the beginning and my fears are that failure of production in this sector is large 
and it will be a disastrous thing if it so happens para now i would like to inquire of the finance minister as to what he is going to do in regard to meeting our cloth shortage sir the per capita requirement of cloth is rising but the supply is not keeping pace with the rising demand what is the remedy that the government proposes are they still sticking on to getting supply from the handloom industry or have they decided to encourage cloth production by the mills i would like to have a clarification from the government on this point because i have said that if we succeed in keeping down the cloth and food prices we will be in a happier position to put through our plan para now sir with regard to our sterling balances you will remember that several times i have pleaded during the course of the seventh plan period that we are not making enough and proper use of our foreign resources on this particular point i would like to congratulate our finance minister because he has been successful in making a proper use of our foreign resources these resources we are available to us but we we are not making any use of them now the finance minister has adopted a bold policy to make full use of the foreign resources he has imported steel in huge quantities i know sir that there is a steep fall in our foreign resources which have been brought down considerably and this steep fall in our foreign resources has scared some people in this connection sir i would like to request our finance minister to so phase the utilization of our foreign resources that there is no steep fall which generates a kind of a scare in the country it is not possible to phase out the utilization of foreign resources in such a manner that there is no steep fall